Hello friends, it's Mrs. Growth and I wanted to read to you a story called An Orange in January. This week we are learning about farms and this story is a little bit different because it's about a little boy who learns how it's possible to be able to enjoy an orange in January. As we look at the cover, what season does it look like it is right now? That's right, it's winter. And can oranges grow on trees in the winter? Not, not in the snow and the cold. So let's find out how that happens. An Orange in January, written by Diana Hutz Austin and illustrated by Julie Marin. So here's a whole bowl of fruit. In a land that glowed with spring light, an orange blossomed. Bees feasted on nectar sweet as honey until the petals fell away and the orange began to grow into what it was meant to be. It grew slowly and steadily fed by the earth's soil and the ocean's breath. It soaked with rain and drenched in sunshine. The orange drew plump and bright until a hand brown with seasons of sun plucked from its branch while dew still glistened on the leaves. Its days were growing, uh, its days of growing were over, but there was life in it yet. It still had far to go. Where do you think this orange is going to go that's being picked on the orange farm? Hmm. From bag to basket. So they're picking the oranges, putting them in a basket, loading the baskets on a truck. Truck to truck goes from little truck to big truck. It followed the skyway over mountains, across deserts and plains until, and look at that, here it is, traveling past mountains and deserts. And now it's coming to a farm and it looks on this farm like it's what season here? Winter. The orange arrived at the grocery store where it rested a glow with the goodness inside it until, Two hands, small and soft, took it from the pile and called it the best one of all. So the kiddo is picking out their orange. Carrying it home, the child felt its roundness and imagined himself a juggler, a pitcher, a fortune teller who could see tomorrow. So he's using his imagination all different ways with the orange. That night, as ice gleamed on the branches where the little boy lives, he dreamed of a land that shone in summer light. So the orange filled him with warmth and dreams of being in warm places. When morning came, the orange reached the end of its journey, bursting with the seasons inside of it. So now he's packing it in his lunchbox to take to school. And two hands, pink with cold, shared its segments so everyone could taste the sweetness of an orange in January. So he shared his orange with his friends. The end. Isn't that a great story to learn about the trip that an orange makes to end up at your house? Because oranges don't grow where we live here in New York. Oranges grow in warm places like Florida and California. All right, friends, I hope maybe you enjoy an orange today and think about the journey that that orange took to make it into your belly. Bye, boys and girls.